Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video to show how profiles work in EVGA's Precision X1 software. Now this might seem kind of obvious to people who've used Precision X1 before or Precision software before, but this was my first time and I was really confused. So the first thing you need to know is that if a profile is purple, the text, that means that a, a profile is saved to that number. And so if you want to load a profile, you just left click on the profile number and you can see it changes the memory clock over here when I do that. Now, if you want to save a profile, the way you save a profile, you come over here, make all the changes you want to do, click apply, then you come over here and right click a profile number. So let's say we want to save 245 to number eight. You can see how the chat text changed purple. So we've got this memory clock of 245 and any other settings we might have changed have been saved to profile eight. We can test that by clicking there clicking eight, and you can see it loaded our profile. Now, if you want to delete a profile, you right click the profile over here. So you can see how that deleted profile eight. So if you wanted to update, say profile six to minus 24, you'd right click, right click again, and now minus 24 is saved to profile six. You can do a test here. Actually, I don't think, make sure you always, when you make changes, Always click apply or else it's not going to save them. <laughs> right click, right click. So now minus 48 is saved to profile 6. So if you left click on 0, you can see 50. Left click on 6, we're at minus 48. All right, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, guys.